Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are on the GCP fall alongs for the Digital Cloud Leader. And uh, actually, before we launch any resources, I probably should show you a bit about uh, spend and how to control your spend. So this is a new project that we uh, started up, and there's nothing really in it. Now, I was playing around in this other sample project here called Exam Pro, and I purposely ran a bill so I could show you what billing looks like, uh, because it doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, it's very hard to understand it if there's no um, uh, billing happening. So on the left-hand side, you'll go to billing. All right. And we'll just give it a moment to load here. And so we have a bunch of different options here. So reports, cost tables, cost breakdowns, commitments, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and so for the exam, uh, you're gonna wanna know about um, uh, the different types of reports, the overview reports, cost table, cost breakdown, and generally understand the differences. They're pretty thoroughly covered in the lecture content. So uh, you know it's not a big deal if you don't absorb it here, but um, the idea here is uh, we can see and this is just the overview, we have our cost trends. So we have some nice charts here. Um, so it's just kind of like a breakdown. So maybe top products, things like that. It's very straightforward. But over here on the right hand side, we have billing health checks. And so if we were to uh, click this here, it's going to give us a bunch of suggestions that we should do. Uh, and so the first is grant access to view billing reports, assign multiple billing account administrators, uh, turn off billing account creator role for domain, set up a budgets alerts, link a project or close an unused account. So um, I would say that setting up a budget alert is on our high priority here because we do not want to end up spending more than uh, we have. So if we go over to budget uh, alerts over here, you can see I have my spending limit and showing that I've spent uh, $2.43 out of $100. So if we want to go ahead and create ourselves a budget, it's pretty darn easy. I'll just say my second uh, budget alert, okay? See, I had a lot of spend the other month there, and now I don't have so much. Um, but the idea here is you can go and say, okay, do I want to uh, take into account credits or not? Credits would be if you were given GCP credits uh, to utilize for free. A lot of times startups get those. Uh, but the idea is you can go ahead and hit next. Then you can specify the exact amount. And so I could say $50, right? And it shows you a line where it can uh, go. We'll hit next. And this is really nice, which I like. Uh, you don't see this in like AWS where you'd actually have to set up uh, separate billing alarms, but in uh, GCP, you just if you just can do it all in one go. So the idea is, if you want multiples, you just add multiple thresholds, and it's going to warn you when it approaches those numbers. And if you go down below, you can see that you can email, uh, receive emails about it. Uh, and if you also want to push it to uh, PubSub, you could do that. So you could programmatically uh, code it into your platform. Uh, in terms of the exam, you just need to know that you can set thresholds and why you'd want to use budgets, right? Just to make sure you're monitoring your spend. Now, I don't need to go ahead and create one because I already have one. It's a very simple process, but that is budget alerts. Now, if we go back over here to reports, uh, this is really cool. This is basically a, a great way of visualizing your data. Uh, so you have a bunch of different options and you can really uh, pare down and say, okay, I want to know exactly what the spend was for this uh, service. Uh, and stuff like that. So if you really want to uh, do visuals, that's what you'd use uh, that reports tab for. Then you have uh, your cost table. And cost table is basically like a dynamic invoice. So the idea is like invoices just aren't able to show you all of the line items. And so here uh, we can go and expand and see every single uh, every single charge at a uh, granular layer. And I'm pretty sure you can export this. Um, download here, yeah, download it as a CSV. So uh, it's a better way to um, uh, uh, like uh, review your bill uh, from like an invoice perspective. Then you have cost breakdown, and this is kind of like just a simplified report. So like we have reports up here and uh, and the overview, but this is just more so kind of so you can see it at a glance uh, per month. So is it up? Is it down? Where are we? Right. So not super complicated. Um, and again, the questions are not hard in the exam, but Really, all I wanted to show you was those four there and how to set a budget alert. And that's pretty much all we need to know. So what I'm going to do is make my way back to my sample project. And now we're uh, ready to launch some resources, okay?